the resource shortages and rising consumer demand, sustainable management of the seafood supply chain is a serious challenge. What can we do to create sustainable seafood systems? The research described here will begin to answer this question by providing organized data about the production and trade of seafood in African countries. I am Leah Wirth, a rising sophomore studying industrial engineering at the University of South Florida. I am at the University of Florida this summer for a research experience for undergraduates. My program is the USDA CD Skills REEU, directed by Dr. Zanette Vaz, Dr. Anna Martin, and Dr. Grady Roberts. This is on circular economy, systems thinking, and the work this generation must do to develop systems to reduce strain placed on the planetary boundaries. Many of today's most critical issues are wicked problems, which means there are so many factors and complexities involved that no solution is apparent. Human activity has an impact on the environment, and natural systems can only support so much strain before irreversible effects and chain reactions occur, leading to disastrous results. Each scientist, researcher, and anyone participating in the workforce in the future has a duty to be aware of how human changes to Earth systems will have long-term effects and consider how their work can help preserve a livable future for the next generations. Sustainability is no longer a buzzword for niche packaging or food companies, but a necessity. Each research project carried out in this program follows the theme of promotion of circular economy and sustainable practices. My particular project is multifaceted sustainable seafood supply chain management practices in Africa. It is led by Dr. Frank Ash and focuses on nutrition and trade in Africa. Africa is the continent where seafood is relatively most important for food and nutrition, but it is challenged by numerous practices. Africa is an overall net importer of seafood, suggesting that trade contributes to improving food availability. However, the trade with seafood is highly controversial as there are significant differences between African countries. Large quantities are also exported, mostly to wealthy countries. This research focuses on organizing information from the year 2000 to 2020 about fisheries and aquaculture production, imports, exports, top trading and producing African countries, their trade partners, statistics about species which were captured from the wild or bred in an aquaculture facility, and other information. Data for this research comes from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Fisheries and Aquaculture Statistics through the FishStatJ software. This information is then formatted in easy to read tables and charts on Excel, and then sorted by country and category. With numerous graphics showing trends from each country and even comparison between countries, information becomes easy to access and understand. An example of how FishStatJ software could be used to organize data is shown here. In this simplified example, the goal is to show trends in total export quantities in Egypt over the years 2000 to 2020. Some filters are already applied from previous sessions. To begin, the Global Fish Trade Statistics workspace is opened and the Global Fish Trade Quantity by Aggregated Partners dataset is selected. Once in the workspace, a filter is used to select the country in question, which is Egypt here. Then, only edible species and exports are selected. The aggregate function is used to group all species together for the total data, and the data is then transferred to Excel for additional formatting. The final chart showing results is easily created through Excel features. Hundreds of more complicated charts than this example were created for this specific research paper using similar methods. country which was analyzed was Mauritania. This country is in the top 10 for quantity of seafood produced by wild capture, quantity exported, and overall production. Mauritania is unique because despite having high production, none of this production comes from aquaculture. This is seen in this chart. Trends in quantity produced over a 20-year span are shown. Production tends to increase but peaks in 2018. The next chart shows top imports to the country by species type. Note that Mauritania primarily imports sardines. This similar chart shows the top exports with the top category, frozen fish not elsewhere included. Unfortunately, this legend doesn't show all the species in this particular format. Data categorized under not elsewhere included poses a challenge for researchers as the species of the fish in details are unknown. The next chart shows wild captures and net imports. Net imports are calculated by subtracting exports from imports, and the negative values here show that there is more quantity of seafood being exported from the country than being imported. 
Net imports also clearly have a correlation with quantity of wild capture seafood here. The last chart shows wild capture, net imports, and total apparent consumption. Apparent consumption is calculated by adding all production from wild capture and aquaculture, adding imports, and subtracting exports. Apparent consumption for Mauritania is lately balancing around zero. It may be negative or positive, but either way, it is much less than either the net imports or captured quantities by themselves. Projects show that independently analyzing each country's consumption and production trends separately are important for creating policy about seafood production, trade, and consumption in African countries. Presentation of this data to development organizations such as the World Bank and USAID, as well as national government organizations, allows for informed decision making and better governing of seafood resources that are used to feed a country's population or help its economy. Additionally, this project aligns with several UN Sustainable Development Goals, which were developed to take steps towards solving some of the world's wicked problems and promoting health and prosperity for all. This research focuses on zero hunger, good health and well being, and life below water goals. This program, I plan to finish my degree, then pursue a career involved in creating sustainable and efficient systems which will protect the environment and make sense economically. Special thanks to the following programs and faculty who made this research possible.